Hey everyone, welcome to another adventure. I've been away from home for almost a month, and in this time, I've explored some intriguing places here in Michigan. But a lot of folks say that if I don't get to the Upper Peninsula, I'll regret it. And so it's Friday afternoon, and I'm headed north. Tonight, I plan on boondocking at a spot I found scouting the map, and if I can't get there, I've seen plenty of possibilities for dispersed camping. You see, I have one goal for today, and that is to get across the Mackinac Bridge to Castle Rock in the Upper Peninsula. It's 5.30 in the afternoon, and Castle Rock is a four hour drive from here. And if I make it in time, then I've heard that the view into Horseshoe Bay is astonishing. That Walmart over there was super packed, so I decided to move over to another parking lot just across the street because I want to talk about the game plan for this weekend. I'm not trying to rush this trip, but I have to be back where I'm at by Sunday night. So that gives me about 48 hours to take in all that I can of Michigan's crown jewel, the Upper Peninsula. So here's the plan. First, I'm gonna drive the 240 miles to Castle Rock. I'm gonna hike up to the lookout and then bed down for the night somewhere near there. Second, around 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, I'm gonna cruise north to Sioux Locks. Once there, I'll attempt to gain access to an observation deck to watch some vessels pass through the locks. I'll also be on the lookout for some unique rocks that I just learned about that glow under UV light. Then by noon on Saturday, I wanna head west to Whitefish Point. I wanna dip my toes in Lake Superior and continue my search for the Uper Light Rocks. Then I'm gonna head further west to, to Quemenon Falls, and I've heard that the view there is beautiful. Finally on Saturday, I plan to head over to Painted Rocks National Shoreline and plan to yet again search for those Emberlite rocks. I'll most likely set up camp at Painted Rocks on Saturday night, and if time permits, I'll visit one of the clearest lakes in North America, Lake Kitch Itty Kippy. I know I massacred that pronunciation, so let me know in the comments what you think. It's a big itinerary, but I may never get this opportunity again. So while I'm in Michigan, I wanna experience all of its beauty that I can. So I just got to Castle Rock right behind me and I've got 35 minutes to get to the top of the rock because they're going to close at 9 p.m. Thank you so much. You're Follow the yellow uh, feet the whole way. There you go. Well, no, just to the door. Just to the door. I told them I'm a kind of a quick walker and that I would run up, but they said don't run up, but they do close at 9. We got Paul Bunyan, we got Bigfoot. And oh man, look at these steps. It's 195 feet. So I'm gonna guess there's probably about 300 steps. So I'm almost to the top and the view just from here is pretty spectacular. And one theme that I've seen is that the place is gated off pretty well. So you're not gonna get lost in nature with these gates all around the stairs. So the spot that I picked that I wanna do my camping tonight is out in the wilderness behind me. Dispersed camping is okay as long as you're following the leave no trace principles. You got your American flag right there at the top of the rock. And please make sure that you watch your step. So this is Castle Rock. This is a place that once you come up here, you could probably spend an hour or so really just enjoying the view. And some people enjoy the view so much that they leave coins all over the side of the rock here. It already feels like it's in the mid 60s weather-wise. 
and the walk down shouldn't be too bad. This is a beautiful place. I'm glad I took the stop here and I got plenty of time to go find a spot for some dispersed camping here in the Hiawatha National Forest. So I'm about to pull out and it looks like this car over here needs a jump. And I think I have jumper cables with me. I sure do. So I'm gonna go see if they need a jump. So I'll give you one set. And then just keep them separated, right? Go ahead and give it a try. Awesome. So here's something that I didn't expect to have to worry about. I'm here at the National Forest. I'm gonna do some dispersed camping. There's some folks just down the road right there shooting some guns. And so my planned location was gonna be generally in the direction that they're shooting. And I don't wanna go down range of live fire. So I might go check with them and see what they plan to do. You hear the popping? And just make sure that they're not going to shoot me while I'm sleeping on accident. These roads <laughs> are a little bit narrower than I expected. So this is not a maintained trail. And I'm probably going to scratch up my van a little bit. This is a little more than I planned on getting into. So I'm just going to back out and maybe track down the road a little bit and see if I can find a safer place to uh, bed down and I guess a place like this worst case mm -hmm. I tried to go to the first location that I had scouted out that I wanted to camp at and unfortunately that route was just way too tight for my van but I just found a little turnout a few miles down the road this does look like a perfect place for me to to pitch my my van for the night and I just want to show you how I am about a hundred feet off of the main road. So the, the national forest that I usually camp in, you have to camp a hundred feet from the maintained roads. So I'm on kind of a non-maintained turnout, which this is a perfect spot for a little camping. But in either direction down the road, there's essentially nothing around me. And this is gonna be where I set up shop for the night. Sounds like they got plenty of ammo to waste. It's a pretty good spot for me to be camping tonight where I am out of the, the view of, you know, any ongoing traffic, but I'm on a relatively flat spot that will be Perfect for camping. I got my pizza cooking. This trip is going according to plan. So tomorrow, once I get up and have a good breakfast, I'm gonna hit the road and head up to Sioux Locks. Today I got to Castle Rock and I got to see a beautiful view right at sunset. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna head out to Sioux Locks in a few minutes here, and the high is only supposed to be around 70 degrees today. Based on all the mosquitoes that I saw when I first parked here last night, I'm gonna go ahead and change into something with long sleeves. That way I'm a harder target for those mosquitoes. The most common question that I get asked about minivan camping is, where do I go to the bathroom? And hopefully this little thing is pretty self-explanatory. It compacts down nice and essentially it allows me to keep those leave no trace principles. I don't have to dig any holes. And when I'm done with whatever I'm doing, I just use these bags 
And then when I find a trash can, I throw all my trash, including my food trash from last night, in the trash can. It's so easy, you just pop out the sides, put the middle in, put the bag in, and put the top on, and then you're ready to work. Hopefully that was enough information on how to set that thing up. I almost always drink two cups of coffee, so no reason not to do that today. Between my refrigerator, cooking dinner, and making coffee, I've used about 20% of this battery overnight. And then I still have the EcoFlow. So that's the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max and the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. This is what I like to use primarily, and I use that for just charging like my laptops and stuff like that. This one is charged from the vehicle's 12 volt outlet, and this one is charged from the solar panel on the roof of my vehicle. Either way, it's plenty of power to keep whatever I need done, whether it's cooking or messing with my electronics. So I've got plenty of power in this minivan. I'm glad I brought this long sleeve shirt and these pants because it is about 10 degrees cooler than it was just, you know, 200 miles south of here. And the mosquitoes are everywhere. Ready for another day. I can feel the excitement setting in as we step off for another adventure. Or maybe it's just the coffee working. Either way, there's a lot to explore on the Upper Peninsula. And I hope you'll join me for the rest of the adventure. Please subscribe because I am on a mission to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And more importantly, I hope you enjoyed this experience.